It's time to unbox the sledgehammer. Since we've already proved that electric turbos work by taking a 3,500 pound car from a 12.2 at 112 miles an hour to a 10.5 at 127 miles an hour, making about 650 horsepower in the process, and we have version two out in the garage being dialed in, which is a smaller, cheaper, easier to build unit that should make about the same power, it's time to turn it up a notch. So this compressor here is a Vor it's basically a Frankenstein Vortec SI. Uh, it's uh, features a billet impeller which is one of the differences it's lighter it has extended tips by about five millimeters uh, so it's a little bit easier to turn makes a little bit more power we need a motor that can really drive this thing the motor that is on the version that is in the garage being tested is the same motor that drove this one that one's rated at 15 kilowatts the motor in this box is rated at 40 and the esc is rated at 800 amps continuous and a thousand amps peak Let's dig in. All right. The ESC is made by a company called MGM, which I believe is in the Czech Republic. And the motor is made by LMT, which is a German company. First things first. I don't know what this is, but we're going to take it out of the big box and set it off to the side. Ooh, look, swag. T-shirt, an MGM T-shirt. There we go. <laughs> the T-shirt actually held this thing up in customs uh, because apparently you have to specify where it's made, who made it, whether it's knit or woven, whether it's uh, male or it's just it was a nightmare. But it's a cool shirt. I actually like that shirt. I should wear it quite a bit. And then I'm gonna guess. This here must be the ESC. Let's start with the motor, which I'm guessing is in this here box. This is, uh, I believe it's a 3100 LMT, which is censored, meaning <laughs> not that it's, you know, censored, censored. It means it has sensors on it to make the startup smoother and easier. And that is something that I believe the good folks at MGM do once they receive the motor from LMT. Here's what's, oh, there's connectors in here. This is the sensor cable. There's a bunch of connectors. They look to be eight millimeter bullets. Here's what's sick. Inside this little housing is a 53 horsepower motor. Yeah, one-handed, no problem. Don't want to scratch it. Ooh, not that we would. It comes in a case. Look at that. Brushless motor made in Germany with Windungen. I'm not a German speaker, so, you know, deal with it. All right, it's got a 10 millimeter shaft. This has, uh, let's see if I bring this a little bit closer, maybe. 10 millimeter shaft. It has a flat milled into it, which is good because we direct drive this thing with the, <laughs> not patented, but probably should be hex drive. Uh, it's got a cooling fan here. And here are the windings. This is the sensor. Pretty straightforward. It's a motor. It's a 53 horsepower motor. It's a pretty 5300 or 53 horsepower motor. Oh, check that out. Isn't that interesting? It's a two pole motor. The TP power motor that I unboxed earlier, like when I first unboxed it, I couldn't spin it. And uh, there were a bunch of what's called them sexual intellectuals who said, ha, huh, you didn't think that you'd be able to spin one of those by hand. Well, this one spins nice and easy. So there you go. That's a work of art right there. Love it. All right. Let's check out the ESC. All right. Push the limits. 
in speed we trust push the limit yeah that's that's pretty fitting i may actually put that on the car especially since it's a nice understated little sticker okay looky looky all right so this appears to be the usb interface for programming Wow, it's already all pre-bolted and ready to rock. That's that's actually really nice. I don't have to figure any of that out. Okay. This is some sort of cable. We'll figure that out later as we go. Okay. Oh, check this out. So they've already given us a couple of capacitor banks, mostly because I initially told them I was going to be putting this thing down by the electric turbo itself. But I think I've changed my mind on that. I think I'm going to actually put this in the trunk just to take some of the load off. I probably will still keep at least one capacitor bank in. Uh, these cables are much, much, much smaller than what we actually use in uh, coming out of that massive LTO pack that we've built. And then we've got these guys coming off. This actually is going to be ideal. I did order uh, like 150 feet of four gauge cable. This appears to be closer to six gauge. Is there any writing on here? It's 16 millimeters. So 16 millimeters, not the diameter. It's actually the, the cross-sectional area of the cable. And in fact, let me go look up what that's closest equivalent to in AWG, American Wire Gauge. So this is like a five gauge cable. Actually, it's a little closer to a six gauge cable, but since we intend to run pretty long motor cables, we're gonna do four gauge just to minimize the losses. So this, I'm not really sure what this is, whether it's some sort of protector or what exactly. But looking at it from this here side we've got cooling fans which is great i don't have to come up with a cooling solution um big old heat sink right here it's actually very very beefy um and these are the three motor phases so yeah we're going to be pushing a lot of power they already told me that uh with voltage drop calculated from the 60 volt packs, really about 61, 62 volts is what we're going to charge them to. Assume there's a 10 volt drop. So this thing will make, uh, or this thing will draw 550 amps at 50 volts. That's not the 40 kilowatts, but we shouldn't need the 40 kilowatts for this. Now this, by the way, will let us hit about 850 horsepower is my estimate. At that point, the compressor will be done. I expect the compressor to be done before this guy is done. So then maybe we'll step up to a YSI or YSIB or something similar, maybe in the Pro Charger line. And we're going to see if we can hit 1,000 horsepower. So as always, ring the bell, subscribe, like the video. I love all your comments. Give me your feedback. And there's going to be a lot of really cool, fun testing coming up. Well, duh. I'll catch you all in the next one.